Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now how about 120 degrees? Now you would see that everything you can draw a lot of other angle measures using how you did for 60 degrees. So using the same concept you'll be able to draw many other angles. Now can you think of any way by which 120 degrees is related to 60 degree? Yes, 120 degree is twice of 60 degree. That's simple. So 120 is nothing but 2 times 60 degree. So we will make use of this fact. So let's see what do we do. So here also first we draw a 60 degree like how we did in the previous slide. So take a compass, consider this point, let's call this point as O. So this point is going to be the vertex of the angle that will get formed later. So with O as the center, draw an arc. So this arc would intersect this line at some point. Let's call this point as A. Now with A as the radius, A as the center and the same radius as you had drawn before, you draw another arc. So you would see that these two arcs, they intersect at a point. Now when you join this point, this angle is your 60 degree. So this is how we had drawn 60 degree. But now I am interested in 120 degree. So 120 degree means one more 60 degree. So what are we going to do now here is, this is 60. Now we place the compass at this point. Now even now we have not changed the orientation of the compass. So if this was R, we ensure that even this is R. So with the same orientation, we draw another arc and we see that this arc intersect the existing arc at a particular point. And what we do, we join this point with the vertex and this angle is nothing but 120 degree that's because this was 60 degree as we have proved in the previous slide here we have drawn another r in this fashion so as per what we learned in the previous slide this was r this was r and this was also r right so that we had proved in the previous slide now here we, by, with the same measurement of the compass we had drawn this arc also which means that this is also r and this is anyways r because this is the radius of the same r no this big arc is part of the same circle so if this is r this is also r so all of these are r so that means this triangle is also an equilateral triangle that means this angle is also 60 degree so together this complete angle is how much this is 120 degree. So this is how we draw a 120 degrees. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.